to First Aid Air Gun Reviews. I'm your host, Lou, and today we're going to do some... Tons! That's right. We're going to do part three in our clay testing. Uh, let me explain as we go. Let's check it out. What I want to do today is uh, see the pellet energy in the uh, relatively same power plant. We got a 1377 and a 1322 Crossman. Uh, as far as I know, they are the same power plant. In 177, I have a 7.4 grain pellet, and in 22 caliber, I have a 14.3 grain pellet. Let's see what happens. 177 cal, 7.4 grains, not bad. 22 cal, 14.3, twice as much. That's pretty much what I expected. Now I'm using a 10.6 grain 177. And the lightest 22 caliber pellet I had was a 9 grain Prometheus. Oops, let me try that again. This is what I was actually hoping to see. As you can see, the 22 is a little bit bigger, but fairly close in size. The 177 was one and three quarters, and the 22 was two inches. Let's see what a hypervelocity pellet does. 4.32 grains. Hmm, pretty impressive. And the 22 cal H&N, 17.13 grains silver point. Actually surprised me how close they are in diameter. But on the 177, it's petered out and that 22 is still pushing a lot of energy. So that's telling me downrange you can uh, be more effective with a heavier pellet. Uh, unfortunately, I was a bad shot and I killed my chronograph. Let's just take a moment to remember the Caldwell crony. <laughs> Well, that was uh, pretty interesting results. Uh, the reason why I used the 1377 and the 1322 was because, I, as far as I know, I believe they're the same power plant. Uh, and just like I suspected, when the uh, 7.4 and the 14.3, the uh, wound channel was like twice as big in the clay. Then I uh, went to a lighter pellet with the 22 caliber, the latest I had on hand, and the heaviest I had hand on hand with the 177. And the wound channels were pretty darn close. The 22 was a little bit bigger, but that's to be expected, but pretty darn close, to be honest with you. Um, and then the uh, lightest pellet surprised me at how big of an impact it made on that uh, clay there. It was pretty, pretty darn big. And then that heavier pellet, uh, while it was uh, a, maybe a little smaller, but the exit wound was pretty darn huge. It's with the uh, heaviest 22 caliber I had. Anyway, pretty interesting results. Uh, leave comments, questions, uh, critiques in the uh, comment section. Um, I don't know if this is helping anybody. I'm trying to get a little better understanding. Uh, hopefully, I'll get a new chronograph soon, and we'll be able to test uh, foot-pounds of energy going down range. Uh, I know it's been done before on a much better, more professional channel, uh, but I plan on making it so I don't kill my next chronograph, so hopefully we'll get some results. Uh, I'm guessing that the heavier pellets are going to retain energy at longer distances, obviously, than the lighter ones. But let's, uh, let's do some science, and we'll check it out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. I'll catch you next time.